Mozart of Indian music and this morning he's in our studio. Ravi Karan sir is in Madison for a two-day festival which ends today and he will be joined at the event by high school students from across the country. Good morning. Good morning. We have a lot of guests in our studio but not often musical guests. So tell me a little bit about um, this instrument. Yeah this is basically a 20 string slide called the Chitra Veena and uh, it's a very easy instrument but very pleasant. It's uh, actually having a reputation to be very close to the human voice. Okay. So if people were to close their eyes, they could probably even imagine you singing. <laughs> I don't know if they want to imagine me singing, but somebody else singing. And so you're going to be in Middleton today. Have you ever visited um, this area of Wisconsin before? Yes, I have actually visited uh, Wisconsin several times before and had the pleasure of playing in many places, including the concert on the square with the Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra. And it's always a pleasure to be here. And you know, this is an instrument, I've lived in Wisconsin for a while, I don't see this very often. What's uh, the reaction you get from Wisconsin residents when they hear it? Well, actually see, the concert on the square had almost like 45, 50,000 people. So wow. they were really very curious at first and then they seemed to like the instrument a lot. So it's always very beautiful because instrumental music transcends language, religion, region, all kinds of frontiers. So people can just appreciate the melody, rhythm, on just either an intellectual level or at an emotional level. Is this instrument fairly popular in India? Very popular throughout the world now. Is it? It was not this popular before, but it is growing in popularity. Is it exciting to bring this, you know, kind of to a different group of people? Incredibly exciting because I always believe that music is to unify people. And I love to work with uh, artists from different cultures, orchestras from different cultures. Today we are going to have some outstanding musicians from the rock, Western classical, jazz and world cultures joining us today, both professionals and students. What so would you say to someone watching who's maybe a little curious, should they come? Well, they are curious at first and then they like the, the sounds of it because the sounds of instrumental music is typically universal. So, you know, they really like it. And I have created this um, system of music, Mel Harmony, which actually blends both Eastern and Western values. So we create, we explore new chords and counterpoints based on the Eastern rules. So they hear the Eastern music in their language. Awesome. And yeah, we're going to be able to hear it right now if you wouldn't mind uh, playing a little for us. A little bit, yeah, today. Okay. <laughs> this is more a teaser, but in the yes. afternoon there will be a full orchestra joining us. Wonderful. So it will be very different then. Okay. Thank you so much. And if people want to see you playing with the orchestra, um, mm -hmm. where should they go today? It's a Middleton Performing Arts Center at 2 p.m. And we are also going to be joined by a maestro, El Shankar, on the violin. Mm -hmm. And we have got some exciting percussionists, Neil Agrawal and Vinod uh, Sita Raman, plus uh, the orchestra. So it's all going to be a blend of a lot of different things. Well, this was so beautiful. Thank you so much for Great pleasure. Us. See you all there at 2 p.m. at the Middleton Performing Arts Center. Great. Thank you. Well, you are about to take a live look over.